To use Gantt Pro to the fullest, let's see how to work with the project structure. In Gantt Pro, there are tasks and subtasks. To create a subtask, right-click on the task and you will see the context menu. Next, select the Add a Subtask option. Enter a task name and press Enter on the keyboard for quick saving and entry of new ones. Our task becomes a summary task and consists of subtasks. What you see now is called a task group. The start and end dates of the summary task are calculated automatically based on the subtasks. Also, there are quick task creation buttons in the grid. When you hover over the button, a tooltip will appear on the left showing at which WBS level a task will be created. You can change the order of tasks using drag and drop, or change the project structure by making a subtask from a task. Now, let's set tasks start and end dates. This can be done in two ways. Stretch and move tasks directly on the Gantt chart, or change the start and end dates in the corresponding fields in the grid. If necessary, set dependencies between tasks. They will help you to define tasks' order and connections between them, follow their progress, establish a critical path on a Gantt chart, allocate resources properly, and many more. And finally, two advanced tips. First, you can add a milestone in each group. A milestone is a significant event that is important for the entire project. They can be considered as landmarks to measure the progress in between project completion. Second, you can color code task groups through the context menu or through bulk changes. This can help with visualization, progress tracking, and task segmentation between departments. That's it. From now on, you know the important basics of the task structure in Gantt Pro.